Hey guys, first of all, new haircut. Hope you like it. Uh, yeah, welcome to Holy Wheels. And today, I wanted to talk about something that has really been on my heart very recently, as in the past couple hours. But it, it's a message that I just really needed to share and get across while it was fresh. So stay tuned. I hope it impacts you. And yeah, uh, new haircut, new video. Get into it. So today I wanted to talk about the concept of when you have nothing left to lose, you win. You've probably heard that countless times and it's probably become so, uh, what's the word, uh, I guess, point not pointless, but so irritating and just so you're sick of hearing it. And I wanted to hopefully shed some light on that, that maybe changes your mind on that uh, phrase and that saying and that mindset because I've come to learn very recently that that is very much true despite how cliche it can sound and so when you have nothing left to lose you win what does that mean for me it means that when I have any, when I am having a completely emotional breakdown and it's, as you guys know I struggle a lot with mental illness and mental health and when I am having a complete you know just overload and it gets to the point where I am drained I'm having to get into bed because my brain just can't cope and I you know I'm just defeated and at the end of it I feel just completely defeated but I've also found that in those moments when all of it is past, when I'm laying in my bed completely drained, but also in that moment where my strength is starting to recover a little bit and I'm slowly and gradually starting to feel better and my strength's coming back and all that, those are the times when I receive wisdom that sticks with me for my entire life. Now, of course, we are given wisdom to us by God all the time and of course that wisdom can stick with us through any circumstances as long as we hold it to our hearts and pray for God to you know keep it in our hearts and to keep it in our minds and all that but I find when we're at our lowest point got nothing left bodies are drained our minds are drained every part of us is drained every aspect of our being is drained and we're just sitting there unable to move that is when the wisdom that just sticks with you your whole life comes and I have been struggling with a lot of just thing after thing and yeah my mind broke a little bit I didn't have a complete like collapse of sanity but my mind did definitely have a bit of a break but I found that as I accepted that uh, not defeat but as, as I accepted that okay uh, I've had a battle I lost that battle and you know I need to recover and all that I found that wisdom came to me that I would never have probably received if I were just in my normal state of mind because when you're in your normal state of mind you're distracted by so many things that you would never even think were distractions for example I am at my computer 99% of the time now you wouldn't think that that would be a distraction and most of the time it is a major distraction but uh, it can something as simple as that can distract you from maybe a subtle message that God is trying to show you it can distract you from even a major message and something that should be very apparent that God is trying to show you but if you're so immersed in whatever it is that you're doing then the message just won't get through as it would when you are completely drained and you're almost forced to kind of listen and to receive the wisdom that doesn't mean God will force the wisdom upon us but I mean when you're uh, force wasn't the right word I guess when you're 
when you've got nothing left to do to you know lift yourself up not lift yourself up but let God lift yourself up but just sit or lay down and listen you've got no you know no job stuff to worry about you've got no uh, you know you don't have to worry about a TV show popping on at a certain time that you're waiting for that's the last thing on your mind you have lost everything and the only thing on your mind is recuperating and figuring out what in the heck do I do next how do I recover from all this what's my next step and I think it's because we're in that mindset of so desperately trying to figure out those answers that the wisdom that God gives us just clicks all the more and of course like I said can click at any time obviously but I think the reason it tends to click just so much more when we're at that point our lowest point where we have no other choice than to listen to God's wisdom or just go insane is because what was I gonna say it's because of that desperation of I need you God I need a way out of this I need the strength to get through this and I just need you I need wisdom I need to figure out what to do where to go I need to figure out how to be human again in some cases and when you're at your lowest point that's your only focus you can care less about being at your computer you can care less about watching your favorite TV show at a certain time you just need to learn how to function again and how to be human again and that's why I think that the wisdom we receive in those times just clicks just so much more prominently and so much more smoothly I guess that's the proper word so much more easily it just it just clicks and it just sticks and it sticks with you of course as humans there will be times where it might leave us for a time but I've always found that the wisdom I've received in those moments never fails to come back when I'm past whatever uh, other trials I am facing or you know, will face in the future hopefully that makes sense but yeah just whoop, move my chair I just hope this is, that this encourages you guys and I know being at your lowest point is uh, horrible there's nothing really worse aside from just being dead but I hope this shows you that wisdom can be gained at your lowest point things can be gained at your lowest point and in fact it is at our lowest point that perhaps we gain the most and I hope this encourages you if you're at your lowest point to not give up to go with that urge of just screaming out to God for wisdom for strength for direction for whatever it is you need to get back to the point of being able to be functional and be completely sane and just calm and be at a level stage be more level-headed and just recover so yeah when we are at our lowest we do indeed gain and can indeed gain if we take advantage of the opportunities that God presents us with in those moments so all is not lost even at your lowest point and I hope that encourages you guys I thank you all so much for your support again this is kind of just off the cuff but I felt I needed it to be out to you guys urgently so I just kind of splattered it out and hope it made sense and so I hope it does my forehead looks a lot bigger now that I have a lot less hair but yeah I thank you guys so much for your love and support and for all the comments and just everything and yeah I hope this is some encouragement inspiration I will see you guys in the next one God bless